You're listening to the Monday Market Highlights brought to you by Milford. Good morning. It's Monday the 19th of July and I'm Roland from Milford. A lot of data out this week, but the key news was definitely the US CPI release, which materially beat expectations, increasing 0.9% month on month, taking annual inflation to 5.7%. Both of these are very big numbers. Now, it was driven by some temporary factors, such as used car prices, which increased 10.5% month on month. However, there is still pressure building in most areas of the economy. One area of concern is food inflation, which increased 0.8% month on month and is therefore annualising 10%. Although some economists are happy to back these numbers out, it is a big part of a real-world individual or family's budget. Despite these rising pressures, the US Fed still see inflation as transitory and believe the US is a long way from achieving substantial progress in their employment conditions. We disagree with the Fed's dovish stance and still think tapering will occur earlier than the current timeline suggests. Turning to Australia, Employment data was released and it continued its strong run with the unemployment rate falling to 4.9% and total employment breaking new highs. In addition, there was a shift towards full-time employment versus part-time, which is great to see. Hours worked was a touch weaker. However, this was due to an 8% decline in hours worked in Victoria due to the lockdown. This metric will remain subdued given the lockdowns. However, we still see strong employment fundamentals beyond this hiccup. In equity news, the Sydney airport rejected the deal and didn't open the books as they believe the deal undervalues the business, particularly when you look at the share price pre the pandemic. The consortium pushback, highlighting the previous price, isn't a good indicator of value because traffic volumes would take years to recover, there are more shares on issue given the equity raise, plus they highlight the increasing competition in 2026 from Western Sydney Airport. Now there's points on both sides but you never expect a bidder to put their best foot forward first, so we would expect a higher bid in the coming weeks. The infrastructure M&A boom continues as Spark Infrastructure received two bids in quick succession from the same consortium. The initial bid of $2.70 was quickly up to $2.80, however, it was turned down by the board. It's an interesting one, as Spark has no controlling interest in any of their key assets, and dividends haven't really grown in years. However, here we are. PayPal announcing their entry into Australia and Apple announcing their own buy now pay later product rocked the Afterpay share price. PayPal entering Australia isn't a big deal in our view, given Afterpay's strong market position. Apple, on the other hand, is something to consider, as they are a formidable competitor in all markets they operate in. We do think the scale Afterpay has, and their ability to generate leads for retailers is very valuable, and think the smaller players are likely to struggle more than Afterpay. But hey, a new competitor is never great. Now turning to this week, U.S. reporting season is in full swing, which would be a focus for many. Given the fast recovery, bottlenecks, and labor shortages, actual company results will provide more granularity on what's actually happening in the U.S. Also, the OPEC Plus talks appear to be making progress. As a quick refresher, OPEC Plus are planning on increasing their oil production by 400,000 barrels of oil a month. However, the UAE want a higher amount of these barrels than they're currently allocated. Now, there's no official agreement yet, but apparently there's talk of a compromise, so look for any information on this. Finally, we are watching the Delta variant very closely. Now, look, we have a playbook for resolving this. We know how to get cases down to zero, but the longer it's in the world, the higher the probability of a nasty mutation, which is a bit of a concern. What is clear, however, is that vaccinations help materially, so it's pleasing to see continued progress on this front. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.